are live and the Yeti is working now. Um, that's work. Audio it's a Corsair. Sound. Play pit play. There. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got some sound. Anyhow, uh, I think everything's working right. Uh, hello, everybody. It's been like three months since I've streamed. I've uh, been enjoying the summer and uh, filling out on the deck, going places. Got really got into guns over the summer. Some of you know. Uh, I got a M and P two point oh nine mil, the seventeen round mag, um, and also got an AR fifteen. Also a Smith and Wesson. Took some courses, training, and. Uh, Bought a lot of ammo, <laughs> but uh, it is September and No Man's Sky has came out with their Frontiers update. Now, the, um, well, let's just go ahead and watch this. Well, let me restart it. So there are now towns in the game, which is, I'm assuming what this is. Now look at this. I mean, I seen the, uh, go by I'm assuming those are protectors uh hi smoking bunny how are you wizard glick what's happening um so I seen the the uh sentinel Go by, I'm assuming it's a protector, but look at this, look at this thing. Now, is this like a, a sentry for the town? Is it going to protect it? I don't know. Now, he is riding on a beetle, <laughs> which this update came out, uh, I think it was the last update where you could ride creatures. I'm doing great just working on a new background for Halloween. Uh, a background for what? Which? Funny?
That beetle looks kind of disgusting. Yes, for Twitch. Are you talking about like the background uh, for your cam? Is that what you're talking about? Or your Twitch profile? Uh, I don't recall. I don't think when you, I, I checked out your channel, but on your, uh, your, your, uh, Previous videos, I don't think you didn't have a cam, did you, Bunny? I don't think. Oh, I'm pretty profile. Okay, so that's that's the video. So, all right. Frontiers introduces the concept of large, living, breathing planetary settlements which travelers can encounter, uh, interact with, and even be elected overseer of. So that's pretty interesting. As the leader of your adopted people, travelers can choose to help them, even lead them, ensure their future uh, prosperity and happiness and ultimately develop these fledgling towns into even larger towns that sounds pretty damn uh, awesome no I didn't have a cam I'm hoping to get one next month I just recently got a computer so I can stream better Halloween I want to do a lawn scene this year Yeah, I would my my extent of Halloween is putting a few pumpkins outside and some corn stalks. <laughs> um so anyhow, you are able to con okay, so you are able to con uh construct new buildings to see your town grow. As you welcome new inhabitants, citizens will look to you to solve their problems, make important decisions, keep them s safely, keep them safely below sentinel radars, and help defend against drone attacks. What? I love Halloween. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, Halloween's okay, but my favorite holiday, holiday is Thanksgiving. To show up to mom's, eat all day, lay on the couch, and eat more. And then take a whole bunch of stuff home and eat on that for days. We don't get trick or treaters around here now. Yeah, I think. Well, we do here, but um, I'm I never because they do it. They don't do it on Halloween. They do it a week or two before Halloween. It's really weird. And I'll just be sitting here, and I'll hear a bunch of people. I'll look out the window and it'll be trick or treaters. Hey, I love a good turkey. Crisp turkey skin. Um Okay, in addition to the introduction of settlements, Frontier brings a huge overhaul to the base building with hundreds of new base parts advanced building controls and new grid menu to aid with even more fanciful constructions oh shit um, our very first update for no man's sky was in was to introduce base building something which has been uh one of the most popular features
and the long-awaited Expedition 3 photographers just around the corner. Going in the latest seasonal event. Starts all players. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wow. Uh, so, yes. This is this is pretty damn awesome update. I've... Uh, uh, I have watched some gameplay of it today, and uh, it's been two and a half, over two and a half years. It was January 2019 when my last YouTube video up, went up for this game. So uh, it's been a long, well, yeah, over two and a half years since I played it. Uh, now, I had 200 hours in on the character that I playing but i'm starting completely from scratch i think that'll be interesting interesting did you uh bunny did you watch some uh seven days to die videos uh yeah i have 225 hours on the game last played december 9th 2018 Well, that would make sense because the video went up. Damn. Video went up in January, so like a month later. Um, so it's going to be. Uh, I mean, I could keep that character, but I just want a fresh, complete new start. So I'm guessing the sound is okay. It will be, we will be playing on survival, which is a survival challenge. More hazards, smaller inventory, increased cost. A lot of people, especially if they don't know the game, will play on normal, which is kind of easy mode. But I, I always go for the harder. Then you got permadeath, which no thank you. Uh, so we will play on this. Yes, it seems like a fun game. Oh, it is. Sound is good. Cool. I gotta get this music off. Yeah. If you like base building and fighting zombies, Seven Days to Die is pretty damn awesome. There's a good chance I'm going to die in the beginning because I'm going to be clueless as, as to the controls and it's a very rough start to get to your ship. I gotta pay attention to the frame rate and watch for drops and I may have to turn the game the graphics down on the game I don't know we'll find out Commencing system suit visualization. Oh nice wizard Life support systems activated. Yeah, when Alpha 20 comes out, I'm going to uh, have a uh, 
I'm gonna make it a seven days to die server. Propulsion jetpack online. Multi-tool aligning laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence complete. Home tab to skip. Skip one. Toxic protection falling. Uh, see the scan. Toxic protection falling. Activate scanner with C. Locate sodium with the scanner. Scanner damage. Toxic damage detected. God, I'm dead already. Toxic damage detected. Where am I supposed to go? I need to find uh, sodium. Flowers. I am dead. I knew this would happen. If I could find a cave. So what do I... How do I? They shouldn't make the beginning of this game so frickin' tough. Okay. Saving in progress. Hydrogen is key. Press escape to learn more. Okay. How? Scanner's damaged. Here's what I don't know. How do I...
don't want any motion blur. Shit, did it not? Okay. Okay, okay. How do I bring up? Ah, that's what I was looking for. Okay. All right, I've got to try to find, what am I looking for? Extract ferrite. Producers recharge equipment. Toxic protection falling. thing out. Holy Toxic shit. Toxic damage detected. Um. Toxic damage detected. Oh, uh, does that fix my exosuit? Oxygen. There's a guy I was watching on YouTube today and he said he died five times. Alright. Okay, I need I need to find some stuff to help me or a cave. So if you hold G there.
it is. And I get... Ah, oh, okay. Holy shit. Alright, so we're in a cave. Now, what is this? Harvested from the cave Moro plant found uh, underground. The cave Moro bulb has proved resistant to domestic. Quick transfer. Okay. Alright, so let's look here. Uh, this is general storage. This is technology. That's cargo. Um, usually you move like my jet pack. Okay, so let's. E to move. We'll put the jetpack there. This is hazard protection. We'll put this in technology. And this is life support. Okay. This is like my inventory. All right, so general, okay. I don't know if this could, uh, and then cargo, I have, what, two slots in cargo? Okay, yeah, you can buy slots, you can buy slots, alright, okay. Um, I don't know if these, I don't know if I can get out of this damn cave, uh, to be honest. So, my multi-tool scanner required, repair immediately, Gathered, gather ferrite dust by shooting small rocks. Um, ah, right here. I need 75. Saver, I know that. Okay, I need more. I need a lot more ferrite dust. Damn it. And we're at the end of the cave. This ain't good. Shit. Okay. So my health goes down as I move. Ugh. Or is that my stamina? Shit, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Damn. We need a lot of ferrite dust.
I think the only way out of here is this little teeny opening here. Um, okay, so we just need a little bit of ferrite dust. Can I? Oh, shit. <laughs> this may be tricky. scanner damage so use tab to access multi-tool okay scan to locate sodium where's sodium Get back in the hole. Um, Toxic protection stabilizing. Locate sodium with the scanner. Use sodium to recharge toxic protection. Activate the scanner with C. Okay, uh, exosuit, start, uh, Detected. Ah, we gotta give that away. Toxic protection falling. And we scan. Scanner's recharging. New guide entry unlocked. Navigation basics.
We'll get there. Do I start back at that location? I know I lose my inventory when I die. All right, just keep going. Toxic protection falling. Oh! Wait, where'd it go? Over here. Okay. Hi! Here we go. I need this. Okay. New guy entry unlocked hazard protection. a bitch, but once you get to the ship, you, uh, once you get to your ship, you, it's, things kind of slow down a little bit, you can think. Oh, here we are, holy shit, thank god. Holy crap, uh, blah, 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 boundary, okay. Broadcast. Broadcast to receive. Anomaly, position log, system integration scan initialized. Okay, get inside. Connection, intermediate, launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. I find myself alone in a strange world, uh, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of before, but this ship uh, at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least uh, to that of my exit chute. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Read log. Connect Desired repair path, repair ship systems, self guided repair protocols initiated. Pulse engine critically damaged. I need a hermetic seal. This technology. Uh, uh, okay, I need a hermetic seal and a metal plating.
oxygen. This right here, I think. Toxic protection. Falling. This, I think, oxygen will heal me my my health. There's more down here. Way down here. Oh shit! Wait, I just now noticed the top bar. Um, should I? Life support. Technology recharge. Oh my god, my health. That. Okay, so I gotta be real careful. How do I get my health up? Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Holy shit. Wait, okay. Alright, so what's going on here? Alright. Quick transfer to my exosuit. What? What? Toxic protection. Falling. Okay, I got nanites out of that. I need an Atlas Pass for that. My hydrogen. Come on. Flick ferrite dust. I need 50 ferrite dust. Okay. First, let's get, um, let's get our suit. So when you get out of your ship, it saves the game too, I believe. a few more where you at down it there toxic protection falling ah got it okay
this. All right, so how do I... Or craft a metal plate. Instructed. Okay. Launch those are critically damaged. Press E to exit. Uh, so, Starship. Wait, what? Hatch metal plating on the pulse engine. Okay. Now what? All right, one down. Functional. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Medic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Salvage planetary chart. Oh, okay. So. Planetary chart. Planetary chart. Toxic protection. Falling. Finding buildings. Planetary chart. Uh, open inventory. Open the inventory view data. Highlight the chart and use E to plot route. sodium now this oxygen that okay that oxygen will repair so if I go in the end of my ship this doesn't repair it only repairs my exosuit not my health I need I use the oxygen I think to repair my health So, before we make this journey, what is this over here? Is this oxygen? Oh, that ain't nothing. Damn it. All right, let's scan. Toxic protection. Falling. Okay, here is... I gotta stop doing that. Check this thing out. Oxygen. So I go X and then life support and use the oxygen. Technology recharge. Okay. Oh shit. Look what I just well, found over here. Oh no! Storm. Oh shit, a storm's incoming. Look at all this sodium. Toxic protection. Falling. Alright, we gotta get back. Where's my ship? The 
use the ship? Shouldn't it tell me where the... Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Thank God the ship's here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, don't fuck around with storms. suit so um let's let's uh organize this better rusted shit know what that is uh sodium i have 179 sodium and 82 oxygen ferrite dust and then we have dihydrogen uh i don't i uh, I, I think that's pretty good. Oh wow, look at the, look at the lightning. Yeah, this... This is not a very, uh... Nice planet, I don't think. Storms last that long. Weather update. Storm clearing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sodium, I oh, over here. So, if you're going and if you if you hit G, the G key and space bar, it gives you a nice little boost. Okay, let's get all of this. some more um I missed it why is it not working there where is my space suit oh or my uh I don't know I'm not getting it to Work right. Toxic protection. Falling. There. Thank you. 
So what does it take to fill up? It's pretty low right now. I've got 40. Technology recharge. Well, that can't be right. How do I have 42? to go toxic protection falling this away Okay. 